Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome to the video. I have a lot of people asking me how to use Rewise still. So I decided to do a proper how to use Rewise tutorial for mouse. I'll also be showing my Call of Duty Black Ops 6 config in this video. So if you're here for the config, I'll pin the timestamps for the settings in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if you find the content helpful. Without further ado, let's jump into it. So first things first, you can get the program at readwasd.com right here. You'll download the program and create an account. All right, so when you open the program, you'll come to a page that looks something like this. So the first thing we need to do is group our mouse and keyboard. And to do this, you're going to click this little detect button here at the bottom. Click OK. Click my mouse. You'll see it blinks when I click mouse one. So I know this is mouse. I'm going to click it, click mouse, and submit. Do the same thing on my keyboard. I press spacebar. Make sure you remember the name of your mouse you just initialized. Mine's USB receiver because it's wireless. You'll press spacebar on your keyboard, click your keyboard. It'll pop up. If you have reinitialize here, you want to click reinitialize and then click keyboard. Since I don't, I'm going to go ahead and click group to group them. I'm going to group it with the mouse that I just initialized. We got keyboard mouse there. You can save it if you want. I normally just close and it groups anyway. Now that you've got that, you're going to come to the description of my video, and the config will be linked in the description. You're going to get the config. It'll import. It should be labeled like this, Vortex1M-BO6. And then you'll click Apply. Now your mouse will get stuck. You won't be able to move it. In my configs, either Home key or Zero key will bring your mouse back. So you'll bring your mouse back, click OK, and then you will open the game. All right, now that we're in game, the settings for any config you get for any game are going to be really important. The dead zone settings, the controller settings, they're all super important. In Call of Duty, you need to make sure you're set to controller input. Because Call of Duty locks inputs to mouse or controller when you're in games. Here you're going to horizontal stick sensitivity has got to be 2020. You can lower this a little bit if you want. It may help if it's a bit too fast, but I leave it at 2020 and adjust in, in the app and in my DPI. Dead zone inputs is another important one. Left stick min, not so much. Or left stick uh, dead zone, not so much. This is just for movement. But this is what I have it set at. Min 0, max 75. Right stick min and max are the most important. I have these set at 0 and 85. And left tr trigger and right trigger at 0. Aiming. These are important too. This is sensitivity multiplier. This is your, your vehicles, air vehicles, your tablet sensitivity, you know, your... Uh, kill streaks, stuff like that. So the main one that's important here, though, is the ADS sensitivity multiplier. You can copy the rest if you want. That's what I use. And I have this set to 1.65. If you change your dead zone or ADS sensitivity multiplier, it will change the way the recoil combo and the config will work. And I will show you that right here. This is where you can find the recoil combo. You'll come to mouse tab right here. Click mouse tab. Then go to ADS layer. Click mouse one, the real cool combo would be right here. If you change this right here, lower, for instance, to minus 10, it'll pull down more. So keep that in mind. If you change the ADS multiplier or the dead zone, if you lower the dead zone or raise it, it will change the way that recoil combo will work. All right, now that we've done all that, all you got to do is press your hotkey, which is in my configs is zero or home, and you'll see controllers pop up in the menu. You'll go in game, press the hotkey, and you'll be able to move on controller. So I'm going to show you this in the firing range. If you look here, I can't move my mouse. I'm on mouse. When I switch to controller, you'll see my menu buttons change, and I'm on controller. And that is pretty much it. I know this program may seem like a lot when you first load it up, but it's really that easy. It's not that hard to use. Once you do it a couple times, set it up a couple times, you'll be, you'll be rolling. And your main settings, sensitivity, dead zone response curve and in almost every game this is how it works you know they may be labeled something a little different every now and then but that's basically how it works uh that's pretty much it so yeah i appreciate you joining me don't forget to like and subscribe again and peace out